Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, I'm Danielle Stabler and I'm um, coming to you guys with another video. This one will be actually on sneaker cleaning. So, I'm going to tell you my little experience of the new sneaker cleaner that I actually picked up, which is called Shoe MGK. And um, I picked this shoe cleaner up last week and I never opened the box. And um, what made me get this shoe cleaner, because I, I wanted to get a shoe cleaner that like actually cleans my shoes and I have a good amount that I can use on at least like 20 to 25 pairs. So um, I actually went to Kings Plaza Mall and um, I just was stopping in to get a nose ring. And um, you know how everybody comes up to you. Oh, let me clean your shoe. Let me um, sell. Always trying to sell you something. So, um, actually, I had on some sandals that day, too. So, I knew I was trying to come in there just to come in there and get out of there. Because I was had to go to work. And um, I actually ran into this girl that just came from Florida. And she's one of the the um, people that work with MGK. And um, she said, come over and I'm going to um, clean your scrub your shoe off. So I'm like, oh, this lady just, she just trying to get a sale. All right, okay, let me hurry up so I can get out of here. It's a dub. So she sprayed the um, conditioner on the shoe and um, wiped it off real quick. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right. She getting somewhere. She might got me. And then I asked her about other shoes, and I wanted to see how they cleaned on Jordans and how uh, the cleaner would work on Uggs or any other type of fabric, any other type of brand, just to see okay, is this a versatile type of shoe cleaner? Like, can it, is it just for one shoe or is it, or one type of brand or is it for everything? Because I need something that is for everything. I have a lot of Jordans, I have a lot of Adidas, and um, I have a lot of Uggs, and I don't like to go to places that have to pay 20 25 50 $60 just to get it clean, and it's going to go back dirty. So I needed something that I could be able to just, if, I, if I'm on a break or if I'm chilling, I could be able to just scrub it off clean up whatever little dirt that I have or anything on my shoes so um I ran into this kit which is shoe mgk you could google right now on your phone what is the number one shoe cleaner in the world right now and this is number one I always aim for rejuvenator because I've seen uh, the um reviews and everything like that and Actually, this is a black-owned company, and I know how everybody's on their, their peak right now of black-owned companies and support and stuff like that. So if you're going to go do that and you need a shoe cleaner, try Shoe MGK. So I'm going to do a little tutorial on, on, on their stuff because it's my first time using a product. And um, this kit actually was, they had a few kits, but I, I have a lot of shoes. So I needed something that would clean at least like. 20 to 25 maybe more so this kit was actually the highest kit it was originally $200 but it was going it was on sale um actually that first two weeks and it went to $69.99 and um actually I bought this kit and it was it was amazing like it comes with so much in here so let me show you guys what it comes in here with it comes with a shoe cleaner two shoe cleaner conditioners one touch up water and stain resistance and mgk brush so let's see and it's called the mvp pack the mvp pack so the first thing that's in here we got the brush when you open it up we got the brush this is like a a soft brillo it's not one of them hard ones where you scrub it it's going rip some of the, the shoe off or you can't scrub too hard type stuff so we got that we got the brush we got the water and stain resistance uh, we got the cleaner and conditioner and we, this is the second one so this is more so like a the lady told me that it, it can last about two years because you got you don't you only need a little so we're gonna see the day and this is a touch up for the white shoes like if you got any air forces or any any type of white shoe it comes with a little let's see soft for any white shoes soft top okay so let's 
So we won't be using this today because I don't, honestly, I could use it at the bottom of my, I'm going to be cleaning my, um, just a, a few of my scuffs on my Jordan 1s, retro ones. And, um, yeah, a lot of my shoes aren't bad. They just really need to be like a scuff, like this scuff. I need this out of here so bad. I need this out of this. This is not it. And, um. Let's get to it. So we're going to use the first one we're going to use. Because they kind of got a process on the back telling you what you can use first for any process that you're doing. So you can do the shoe shoe cleaner first, touch up, and then water resistance, and then, like, you use the brush. So well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little quick a little spray down because I only need the cleaner and conditioner. So... I got me some water in here, and I got my brush. Seems like that's the only two things, three things that you really need. Well, four, because I got the towel also. So you only really need four items, girl. So remember, I said this is... Sorry, that was a little tacky, but look. We all know how he is when it comes to something you're trying to open. I don't want to open it too much, but I'm going to just open it. Like a, a good amount. Because it said I only need a little. Okay. Okay, so since we only need a little, I'm going to put a little dab in here. Okay, that's about, I did about 10 drops. Maybe I OD, but we're going to see. I'm going to dip my brush in just a little. Mix it in. And let's go to the bottom of the shoe. So I'm going to go to the bottom where it's a few scuffs. But I want to kind of not do it too much. I want you guys to be able to see this. So let me, let me show you how it looks so far. Let me show you. So with the shoe, you kind of got, you can kind of see it's coming up. I didn't do too much of a hard scrub, but let me show you some of the scuffs. Like we got this nasty little scuff right here. Let's just check the whole shoe out. Just a little bit of the back of the shoe. Got a few scuffs in the front. That's all we're going to try to worry about right now. So you got a few scuffs right there. And I'm going to try to get as much as I can out. So I'm going to do a soft scrub. Just a little light soft scrub. getting somewhere because I'm seeing a difference and this is really kind of my first time really 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 like um cleaning my own shoes because I don't be having the patience don't nobody want to clean their own shoes for real like unless you're trying to go get a quick scuff out or you're trying to go somewhere quick and you can't and you can't have that scuff in your shoe because they go somebody go violate like uh them, them shits is fire but why you got a scuff in them uh that just throw the whole shoe off so I'm just doing a real light. You can kind of see the bubbles on the shoe. Look, this is so far to the side. It's really, yes, I ain't wipe it off for nothing. This is really good so far. You see this, you still can see some of the scuffs in the front. But yeah, ooh. I haven't got to the front yet. This is so far is doing me justice. I don't want to go too, too hard into the creases. And I'm really, it looked like I'm scrubbing hard. I'm really not. This is a real soft brush. Let's see. Let me wipe it off. Pat it down just a little, like scrub it off. All right. Okay. All right. Let me get into some more. 
because I'm liking this. I can't have not the whole side of the shoe. One side can't be right and the other side. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. I'm liking this. I'm seeing a big difference in my shoes. And like I said, over though, my shoes never really be, it just got a few scuffs in it. Or like my, you know, you walk in certain, like you walk a certain way. So one shoe kind of get messed up more than the other shoe. This happens to be one of the sides. Like the front is always the front that get messed up for me. And um, the back heel. But I'm seeing a big difference. My bottom's looking nice. And the, I'm doing the white part, bottom part. I haven't touched the other side of the shoe yet. As in like the back side right here. And I'm liking it because it's really... I'm making a little mess, but... I ain't no pro. Yeah, so if you were a real sneaker man... You like your shoes clean to the T. This looks like this is this is once I wipe off, I better see a difference. Cause I see a difference already, but I'm saying like I like what my shoes is like it look like I just bought them again. <laughs> you know you get that product that's like, no, nah, this better bring my shoe back to life. I need all my like that. like this and I didn't use only use like um I'm a, I'm heavy-handed with a lot of stuff that I do so as in I poured the I poured it in the um water I did about eight to ten drops because I ain't even know how to measure it but eight to ten drops out of a bottle that size that's really good all right here's the difference And remember, I said this is my first time doing this. I really like this, too. You can see a big difference in them. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Because look at this shoe compared to this shoe. This is definitely the shoe that I always... This side of the shoe, I always damage. I always damage these sides of the shoes. And you can see the difference in it. It's from this side compared to this side. This is a, it's a good shoe cleaner. It's definitely a good shoe cleaner. Glad I invested in it. Let's do some of the... Um, so, I'm going to put some water resistance on it. And the water resistance is basically so... Um, it creates a breathable layer to protect against water, rain, snow, dirt, stains, and more. This element remains on the surface where they can easily be wiped off. Okay. So, I'm going to spray just a little. I'm going to spray it like around. Hold on. Let me get it to be able to spray. Okay. Oh, you can scrub it too to get the dirt out too with the water resistance. This is cool. It's a footwear must be a clean, dry surface that is free of dirt, dust, and grease. Use the shoe. I use the shoe cleaner and conditioner first to safely clean the surface before applying. Hold the bottle eight inches from surface spraying in the back and forward motion. Do not saturate. I definitely didn't because I want to see the difference. So, actually, this is a good shoe cleaner. I really love it. This did me justice. Let my shoes dry. I'm going to let it dry. I'll probably sit it like, probably by the window and the windowsill. Uh, I, I, my windowsills are here, two of them. And there's a lot of air that comes in. So, sit it by the windowsill and, um... I'm going to show you like a little clip of it after. And yeah, this is a great brand. We like black owned brands. This is called Shoe MGK. If you're in New York City, it's at K 
um, King's Plaza. And they have their own stand. They give a lot of discounts too. They um, and the most most of all, if you like to do your reviews and stuff like that, it's probably other reviews that you can look at as well. But I'm just a starter in doing this. So um, if you want to look at any other view like um reviews or go there for just to get your shoe wiped off, go with a dirty pair of shoes on, and get it wiped off. They also have an MVP um program. So after I bought this, this is this is another reason why I was like. Oh yeah, I'm gonna deal with them. So they um give you tw up to 25 shoes that you get to clean. Like they'll clean them for you, so you could take it all. I could take my shoe, this whole box right now. Take it to the um King's Plaza, and they uh, um clean the shoe in front of me, or I could just drop it off and pick it up same day. Whatever it is, how many other pairs you? It depends on how many pairs you bring though. So with me, I probably bring around two, three, and now I could walk around the mall for a second and and come back pick my shoes up. But they clean 25 pairs of shoes for free after you buy the pack with them. If you get with the VIP um, membership, you get a free 25 shoes to clean. They clean them for you. And that is a big deal for me because I have plenty of shoes. And and, I, and I'll show you another pair that I have that I uh, got scuffed in. two other pairs so the pine green ones these are brand new i only wore these one time so you 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 don't see a scuff in them you even see how i tied it no scuffs in these and um the royal blue ones these ones i told you about my backs now look at my backs which shoes the which shoe is it always i'm telling you i'll be doing something with this shoe because look look at that scuff this one is clean is always this scuff, bro. But I'm definitely gonna take a few of my shoes when I, cause I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna take a few of my shoes to go get clean. Um, from them, I want them to do my 25 pairs. They do Uggs too. I definitely don't know how to clean Uggs, and I would rather that be on them, cause they're professionals with what they do. So, um, yeah, if you care about your shoes and you don't got the time, or if you do got the time, get the kit. The MVP pack. The MVP pack lasts around two years. I know you're not scrubbing your shoes every every two weeks, so it's gonna last. It's definitely gonna last, especially the drops you put in. If you average around like eight to ten drops, you're gonna do fine with this kit. And um, even with the white shoes, you can you'll do fine. So um, yeah, tune in, but hop on that pack. Shout out to the MVP pack with the um MGK. I definitely like this purchase right here. This was definitely worth it. And um, I'll see y'all at King's Plaza. Peace.